Well, hello again, fans, and welcome to the Speed Bag. Today, a segment I like to call, I know you don't care, but if you did. Now, this one goes out to MMA heavyweight Fedor Emelianenko, who, as we've heard, will make his glorious return to action on New Year's Eve in Japan this year for a new fighting promotion there. And who will he face? None other than Indian-Japanese kickboxer Jaideep Singh, who has exactly one professional MMA bout on his record. In other words, exactly what you thought when you heard the words Fedor on New Year's Eve in Japan, that's what you're getting. Not a serious fight. And who could have expected it to be? All the serious heavyweights are locked up somewhere else. You're just not going to get anybody over there to fight Fedor, so you might as well get somebody that he can smash who the Japanese people care about. And, I mean, you can't blame Fedor for that. He's a prize fighter, and if he can get a big prize for an easy fight, he's going to say yes to that. I think most of us would. And yet, I can't help but wonder how this is going to change the way we think about the Fedor legacy in total. I mean, if late-era Fedor ends this way, just smashing guys who have no business in the ring with him, trying to get the biggest paydays for the easiest night of work he can possibly find, how will it not affect the way we view early era Fedor, even golden era Fedor. Because even when he was the best heavyweight on the planet, according to many of us, there were still those detractors out there who said that he was just an overrated can crusher. And I don't think they were right, because sure, he would go out there and beat up a guy like Zulu Zinho, whose pants were falling down half the time, but he would also then balance that out by fighting the best heavyweights Pride had to offer at a time when it had the best heavyweights. And yet, I think that if he goes out this way in the last few years of his career, it might make those people seem more right in retrospect. It might, you know, tarnish the legacy enough at the end that it spreads to what should have been the best years of the legacy. But again, Fedor doesn't care about stuff like that. He was as indifferent to the good press when he was getting it as he seems to be to the bad press now that he's getting it. It just doesn't matter to him. And I guess, you know, that's a good way to be if you're going to do this kind of thing. So I know Fedor doesn't care that he might be tarnishing his legacy with these joke fights where he essentially becomes a glorified, yet very popular carnival wrestler. But if he did care, now might be the time to think about it. Now might be the time to think about how you really want to go out in this sport. 